Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be playing Battle Arena Toshinden for the PS1. Let us begin. It looks all in order. <coughs> okay. Okay, so this was one of the uh, early PS1 fighting games that I played way back then. Uh, I remember th being amazed at this because it was a polygonal 3D fighter. And the only other one I seen during that time was... Virtua Fighter for the Sega Saturn. Well, actually in the arcade. But Battle Arena Toshinden I was enamored with because of the graphical, uh, like, the graphical jump from Super, uh, from Street Fighter 2 to, uh, Battle Arena Toshinden. Like, at, on home consoles. Like, the, uh, the jump from 32-bit, uh, 16-bit to 32-bit was, uh, <laughs> was the um it's quite the uh oh, crap she's gonna fall off goodbye so yeah it was quite the jump from 2d graphics to 3d graphics and um yeah it was uh quite an exciting time and i think a year after the ps1 came out the n64 came out and it was real uh like um the thing that mario 64 did very well for, for its first outing in 3D was um, controls. I remember uh, before playing Mario 64, somebody described it as playing a remote-controlled Mario, and that was uh, oh no. Okay, so that was a uh, that almost got me. Okay, let's see if I can get her. One more, just cheap. Yeah, I know I'm pulling cheap, but uh, it's been a long while since I played this. I don't remember all the moves. <clears throat> okay, I think we what we will do is we will fight three characters and then that'll be end of the video. This quick play video. Man, the music, even the music was is very nostalgic. It has that 90s feel to it. It was that commercialized 90s music. There's something about 90s music that I can't quite put my finger on. It's like... It, it tries to be very, um, how should I say, electronic. But I remember um, the it was more than synths when it uh, came out. Because in the 80s, it was mostly synths that was uh, considered futuristic. Well, on the edge, uh, music-wise. Goodbye. Oh, I, I was hoping he'd fall off. <coughs> no problem. So I'm still kind of feeling under the weather, but not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was... Yeah, I felt horrible yesterday. Today is not so bad, it's just I have a, an itchy throat. But other than that, I have... I, I feel mostly normal. Oops. I'm trying to do that, uh... Susan... Yeah, this one. Got him. No problem. No problem. Now let's see who is next that's gonna give me Well this guy might give me a hard time. He's kinda slow, but when he gets his hits in <coughs> It can cause quite a bit of damage. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that was close. Susan. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> well, that was kind of... That move didn't exactly land.
Yeah, it's kind of a clunky fighter, because, like, uh, when you press an attack button, it, you have to kind of watch the animations, and there's kind of, there's a rhythm to playing this game. It's, it's... <coughs> when comparing this to Tekken or, you know, Virtua Fighter, this is not, or even Soul Calibur, this is not the best fighting game, but this, because, basically, oh, due to pure nostalgia, Oh, there he goes. It's basically, I boil it down to a nostalgia, which I have a soft spot for this game. But anyway, we're going to leave it at that, and we will catch you next time. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it, and we will catch you in the next video with a different game. Till then, we'll see you. Have a good one.